welcome back to Vlogmas. I have got for you today a Lush haul. This is the Lush Christmas bits. I'm really excited to get stuck into these. It was hard to pick just a few bits. It's very easy to get carried away in Lush. The first things I picked up were two of these Lush Butter Bears. They smell really nice and creamy. I have quite sensitive skin. These ones are great for that. They're the same formula as the Butterball, but they're shaped like a bear and they're only available around this time of year. They don't have any colour or glitter or sparkles to them, which is quite nice. I tend to have sensitive skin and I don't have any problems with these. Mm, this one smells really nice as well. They all smell really nice. This is the Snowflake Bubble Spinner. It's got a piece of wooden dowel in it there and it spins around. On the website they had a picture of it like running under a tap and being spun, but my idea would probably be to break off each of the points of the snowflake and use the centerpiece. I think you would get quite a few baths out of this. It smells really good. It's a bubble bar too. It's got kind of an earthy scent. It's um, patchouli. It's got a little bit of glitter on it, but again, not too much colour. I think it will be okay for sensitive skin. I haven't tried it before, but I wanted to give it a go. I really enjoy a bath with lots of bubbles. I find it really relaxing and soothing. I'm quite pregnant at the moment, so it, it helps my back. It just feels comfortable in the bath. But the thing that makes the bubbles is called SLS. That's sodium laurel sulfate. I don't know how much you know about it but I'd be interested to to find out. I've heard that it can be an irritant to skin. I've never actually had any problems with it myself and as I said I do tend to have sensitive skin but all of the bubble bars and like liquid soaps anything that lathers up really tends to have it in it and there seems to be a move um away from like bath products having it. So I'm I'm not sure. Let me know what your opinions are or if you have one. It might be something that I would look to avoid in the future, but for this Christmas I wasn't ready to give up my bubble bath. This one is massive. It's the Yog Nog Yule Log. <laughs> and it smells, it reminds me of like Cinder's Toffee. It's got like that almost smoky kind of caramel smell to it. It's a really big one. It's a bubble bar, but it's really creamy. The one that I really liked last year and in previous years has been the Snowman. They've got a different kind of snowman this year. It's like a bubbler room, but the snowman that they used to have before had a scarf on it, and the scarf was like a really creamy, moisturising thing that went in the bath. And these like squares that look like Battenberg, I think they're that, that soft stuff. It has got a little bit of gold shimmer on it, but I think it's minimal. I don't think I'm going to come out of the bath glowing. And it just smells really nice. As I say, it's got that creaminess, but it is a bubble bar, so we should get lots of bubbles with this. And the scents that are added to it is cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove oil. So it's got like that spiced, Christmassy, toffee kind of scent, I would say. It's already starting to melt in my hands. Maybe my hands are just warm. I feel like this one is starting to melt as well. This is Scrubby. It reminds me of the massage bar. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a heart shape and it's got the chocolate in the middle. I also usually use King of Skin when at the end of the shower and you just kind of rub it on and it's like a moisturizer so you don't have to moisturize when you get out of the shower. And it's got the similar scent, the like chocolatey cocoa butter scent that the Floating Island have, and that's one of my favourite bath oils. So I thought that one would be a little bit of everything that I liked, and it's an exfoliator, and it's got a little chocolatey bits, I think. <laughs> no, not chocolate, it's, it's ground almonds that it's got in it. So it's got ground almonds in it, which exfoliates at the same time, and then moisturises too, so you don't have to put anything onto your skin when you get out of the shower. I thought that would be a fun one to try. It also looks like it's bigger than the King of Skin, because I find King of Skin does run out really quickly. This one is one of my favourites for what it does to your skin, but you don't get any bubbles with it, and it's the Floating Island. I think it used to have a little piece of vanilla on the top, but it seems to not have that now. It smells amazing, it's got that cocoa butter scent that I really like. As I said, it doesn't give you any bubbles, but it does leave like a oil kind of film on the bath so when you get out it coats your skin and your skin feels really nice and moisturized especially like that in the winter when your skin can be a bit dry and chapped it can be too oily you definitely wouldn't put all of it in the bath i usually use no more than half and you do have to be a little bit careful because the bath could be a little bit slippy if you use too much so it's probably one that needs a bit of cleanup but for the effects on my skin, it's definitely my favourite. Next up is this cute little heart, which is called Polyamorous. This is also a bath oil. This one's got a violet scent to it. It smells amazing, like the sweets and um, Palmer violets. And I'm hoping it will have all the same effects 
as the floating island. I've never tried it before, but that's one I wanted to give a go as well. And the last thing I got was this Snow Fairy Cold Pressed Soap. It smells really nice, like a sweet candy scent. This year we have made the switch to solid soaps, especially in the bathroom. And we, the soap we've been using has been the Neil's Yard Almond Soap. And I've been bowled over by the results. Trevor used to get some eczema on his hands and it's totally cleared it up. And you wouldn't think something as simple as switching soap. I've used so many different liquid soaps. I never really associated that with what was causing the problem. But it's only after we've been using the soap for a while that we realised that oh, it must be the soap that's made the improvement. But the Neil's Yard Almond Soap doesn't smell that almondy. I thought the Snow Fairy Soap was going to be more of an almond scent, but it's it's very sweet is kind of the overpowering thing that you get with it. Maybe sugared almonds. But I'm hoping that that will also still be okay for his hands. You know, that one hasn't got sodium lauryl sulfate in it either, so maybe there's something there. I don't I don't know. Feeling that soap though, it does feel a little bit soft. I do wonder how long it will last for. I think it'll look really pretty on the bathroom sink and it's got a lovely smell, so the bathroom's gonna smell amazing too. I just couldn't resist. I'm definitely a bar soap convert. You probably wouldn't be able to tell from this haul, but my favorite Lush scent is actually uh, Rose Jam, which you can get this time of year, and Rose Argan, the Jason and the Argonauts shampoo stuff. I love all of the rose scented things but I tend to get gifted a lot of that for Christmas so I didn't actually buy myself any but I definitely want to try the solid bar of soap. I tried last year their solid um, shower gel and I didn't think it lasted as long as the one in the bottle. I love the solid shampoo so next up to try is definitely the Rose Argon solid soap. I would like to know what you want to try from Lush or what your favourite Lush scent is, what you're looking forward to receiving from Lush this year. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!